got a good news for you. First, I have not given up on this channel. Far from it. Second, I'm going on a cruise ship. It Cruise ship is a little bit of a weird way to put it. It's more like a research expedition, which is also a bit of a weird way to put it. It's a research cruise, if you want to call it like that. I decided that I was going to try and film myself on a regular basis while I'm on that cruise and have this sort of kind of one minute vlog video where I talk either about my feelings of the moment or the research that I'm doing, the multiple sampling problems that we will have, fingers crossed, we won't, but it's pretty standard to have a lot of sampling problems on board. The bad weather, the seasickness that I also, fingers crossed, hope I won't have, but generally speaking, it's also quite standard to be seasick on a research vessel, etc. I think there's a lot of things that I could talk about, and every time I've been on a research vessel, I want to share this experience with people, and I don't know how, because generally speaking, you work 36 hours a day, oh, wait a minute, that's not possible, 24 hours a day, um, almost, pretty much, and you have absolutely no time for anything else than work. Eat, take a shower, sleep, these are all luxurious things that you don't always do on a research vessel. I will post this video before I leave while I still have internet and then I'm just hoping that my connection will be good enough for me to be able to post regularly when I'm on the boat. I have been on cruises where literally you do not have internet for six weeks. Oh, I know, it's insane. Do you think that this is a good idea? Because if so, let me know and I will make sure that I do a really good job making these short videos for you. So with that, I actually want to start this vlog. I am on the verge of boarding. Uh, I'm boarding in two days from now, and I've been packing everything that I need for the boat. Well, <clears throat> packing is a big word. I've been attempting to pack. My personal effects are uh, literally scattered all over the bedroom, which is the reason why you are seeing some things there, but I was very careful to hide the bed from the video so that you cannot see the mountain that is right beside me. What I have been able to pack fairly well is the lab consumables. And trust me, there are a lot of lab consumables when you're going to do molecular biology on a boat. So you can imagine that it is slightly stressful. But anyway, I want to show you the stuff. It's kind of complicated right now because if you saw my camera setup, my camera is beautifully positioned on top of a garbage can, which is positioned upside down on top of my suitcase in which all of the lab consumables are. So I will have to kind of change this setup so I can show you what's in there. Bear with me. So this is the luggage. I am sorry for the horrifying light, but as you can imagine, this is a spontaneous decision and a spontaneous video. And so I'm filming at night and there is no good lighting, especially in my bedroom. There is already a luggage that is gone with someone else that is going to work with me on board. And I was very careful to give him the most heavy things so that I would not have to carry it. I'm a very generous person. I hope he's not going to watch this video. Ta-da! So here we are. As you can see, I have packed a lot of stuff. Um, see, the problem when you're doing molecular biology is that you use a lot of plastic. This is what we call plastics. And that we literally call it plastics. When we order it, we refer to it as, oh, did you order some plastics? Are you ordering some plastics? Because it's virtually all plastic. There's a lot of discard happening because you want to avoid contamination. So 
you do have to bring a lot of plastic gear. That's just how it's done. I mean, maybe things will change in the future, but at the moment there's no other way to avoid contamination. So it's kind of a little bit polluting. Um, this plastic is all recycled, but still, uh, here it is. So as you can tell, I've got a lot of that plastic. Lots of tubes, lots of tubes. And I have as well a lot of pipette tips because I'm going to be doing a lot of pipetting. And well, I don't actually know how much pipetting I'm going to be doing. The other difficult thing when you're doing molecular biology in the field is to try and foresee how much of that plastic you're going to need. And right now, to be fairly honest, I have no idea. So let me walk you through my suitcase. I thought that before I walk you through my suitcase, I should show you my little device here. The microphone is actually clamped onto my knee because I don't know where to put it. So here is, here is, here are the pipette tips. Pipette tips, lots of pipette tips. We have pipette tips for different, different sizes of pipettes. I actually have the pipettes in here as well. This here is molecular grade water. We have here something that we call DNA away, which is a glorified bleach. Well, actually it's not bleach, but it's an extremely expensive solution that removes the DNA. So that's something that you're going to be using to wash the counters, to wash things that you want uh, clean of DNA and where you want to avoid contamination. This box here is the DNA extraction kit. I may not be using that kit to extract the DNA from my tissues, but I may. So here there's the protocol for the DNA extraction. And then what we have here are a whole bunch of special, really pretty looking tubes, more plastic. And then uh, we have all of the different solutions here, the buffers, uh, DNA wash buffer, BL buffer, uh, elution buffer, etc, etc, etc. There's a really tiny one here. That's OB protein protease solution which I'm glad doesn't need to be in the fridge or in the freezer because it's currently at room temperature. Although it says 22 degrees Celsius and I'm pretty sure it's hotter than that in this room. I don't know if you can see, but I am boiling. I also have something that is pretty cool here. It is a small centrifuge. So here is the small centrifuge. If you do work in a molecular biology lab, you've probably seen this a million times. And if you don't, then uh, there it is. I have my lab coat in there and the pipettes, but they're so well packed, it breaks my heart to unpack it. So you're just gonna have to imagine it. And this is the main reason why I'm going on that ship. It's kind of a secret. So I'm not going to talk about it for now, but I will eventually talk about it. So stay tuned. Oh, I need to show you something before I go. This are my fisherman's overalls, and I'm really proud of them. So I will probably film a video with these overalls so you can see how fashionable I am when I work on a research vessel. With that, the next time I'll film one of these videos will be on the CFAS Endeavor. So I hope to see you there. Bye!